Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode here on Planet Zoo. We're of course back in Rainy Glen Zoo, a name which I have not actually said in quite a while. But that is of course the name of this zoo and uh, I've done a little bit off camera, not a great deal. I've just sorted out the P fouls that we got in the previous episode and uh, put some hedges here. Cupcake's about to make. Will this be successful though? Wonder if that was successful. Look at that. With those genetics, doesn't mean that they can't have offspring. Still getting a bit of lag with the guests, but not really sure what to do about that. So what I want to do today is I want to get the pea fowls in. I want to do a bit of decoration around here, and uh, I want to add another habitat over in this area. I have something in mind that I'd like to do right here but uh, we are a bit short on conservation credits so we will just have to see. But there's only four of them so. At least I thought there was only four. Five, okay. Well, let's not put them in with the elephants or the tigers. Let's Put them in over here. Vet research that can continue ticking along. This is still about those two habitats. I'm not going to worry about that just now. I've done my handshakes. We just need the peafowls in here so that we can uh, start making this a bit nicer for them. What I also like to do is, if we get the chance at night, I'd like to put some lights in because. I don't have any light in the Indian section at all. Money's going back up after that quite extensive spending spree I had a few episodes ago in the American area. So that's always a good sign. Here we go, we've got some animals coming in now. Now, so they don't have any food or water and like that. We will sort of that. I'm actually thinking about putting them in a little pond over here. Let's actually, well, let's double check that we have water treatment over here. We do. Yeah, of course, they're going to be very miserable just now. Probably going to cause some protesters because I've not done anything for them yet. Of course, they're going to be in and out of boxes constantly because it's the way it works. Something like that. Nothing too fancy when it comes to a pond. Now, let's see. Their enrichment is obviously bottomed out, but they've got plenty of land. They want more short grass, less long grass, and uh, they're impartial to a bit of soil and rock. So let's. Let's actually put the short grass over here. The terrain painting is slightly better than it was in the previous episodes. I think there's been a couple of updates since I recorded those episodes because I recorded these episodes in batches. Let's put some over here as well. Ah, oh, the noise of them. Obviously we need donation bins and all that kind of fun stuff as well. Let's do something like this. Let's increase the size of this brush actually. Always put a couple of spots over here. Right, they're happy enough with that. They need hard shower. But before we do that, we need to, to get them food. Because that's, that's kind of important. Here, 
of that so we can actually see. I want them to feed right there. And hard shower. I'm not sure how I want to work the hard shower. I don't know if I want to go for one of these ones or not. I think I do actually. I want to put it right over here, sort of level with a hedge, and then I want to sort of block off this side, if that makes sense. We'll fill this one in with leaves because I like how it looks. And I want some kind of uh, actually, we'll go for see if I can get a hedge. Plenty of flower beds and things, but it's hedges I want. They're in here somewhere. Might not even be in this section. Oh, they should be actually. Is there a bear hedge in that? something like that. It just gives them a little bit of privacy. I know it's not perfectly straight, but it will probably do. Let's go to nature and make sure they're not too upset with the hedges being there. Uh, I don't think, I don't think anyone would like nettles. Yeah, no, they don't like that. Let's see, like temperate, grassland, and tropical. Let's see what flowers we can get. No, don't like those either. I want to add in the continent of Asia. Well, it brings us back to the Nile, so. They're a bit big. Oh, we could go for these. Yeah, they're fine with these. I quite like that. It's hidden away. Gives them a little bit of privacy. Let's throw in some of these around. I will stick one right there. A couple of these at the guest gates as well. Just kind of winging this. I don't really have a plan for this area. They're happy enough with that. Let's see if we can get them some enrichment. If we have anything that will uh, um, got a couple of things. That's some epic lag right there. Oh, I quite like the look at this. This looks like it could be cool. And we'll put a sprinkler over here. So they'll get the guests as well, because, you know, 
why not? Right, let's see how they're looking for temperature as well, because we need to worry about that. 3 to 40, so winters are going to be bad. Let's get some heating in the place. Let's go for one right about here. And do my usual of setting one and then dotting the rest out. And I do like to bury these. I know they're not as effective underground, but I, I just think it looks neater than having heaters visible. Unfortunately, I don't have the foresight to group all these together every time I do this. Then I'd be able to move them all down at the same time, but that sounds like it'd be too easy. Is that them all? Pretty sure it is. <laughs> That's fairly filled this area out quite nicely. Now let's get some donation bins on the go. We will take some from here. Because like people are hanging around over here, so I'll put one there, there, there. Let's sort of space them out a little. Hopefully that brings us in a bit of money. We're almost back up to 300,000, which is always nice. Alright, we're getting to the point where it's dark. So we'll pause here and then we'll do some lighting. <laughs> I quite like the idea of these. I still want to put, like, something here. I don't know what. Something like this, just to bring a bit of light to the place. And then we'll have one back here as well. Could probably be done with one over here. Now as for this area, we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to go for these. I'd rather not put it on the bush, but if I have to. I'm not too worried about them being perfectly across from each other or anything like that. As for the staff area, I think it's going to be a little bit more... Not that. That one is pretty cool, but not that one either. Uh, just these generic ones. inside the building is fairly lit up. Lit up enough, I'd say. I don't really need any there. I'm going to want to decorate this staff area a bit as well. 
sort of like we've done over here because that building's clipping through the wall and things like that we don't want we don't want that kind of thing that's it's not very nice and obviously we're going to need nature around here something to block off this whole staff area from the guest area but let's figure out what we can put over here don't know if we could put maybe a tree there I suppose we could put a flower bed there, but I'd rather have not the world's biggest tree. Uh, ah, we'll just put a cypress tree. Of one either side of the path. I know that one's a little bit squint, but I don't mind that. I do mind that actually. It's, it's bothering me now. There we go. The other thing I'd like to do at some point is go around all the habitats and put better lighting in. I do have some lighting. Like I generally put a light in their well, occasional trees and in their hard shelter but I'd like to put maybe some flood lighting in maybe figure out some kind of lighting for the water or something like that I could put some lighting on this uh, water thing over here and I feel like this giant tree definitely needs some lighting if I turn that off I like how there's that little red glow up the top there and I like if you're looking over that way it's all bright and colourful. You can actually see the uh, wolf enclosure from over here, which is quite cool. What I'm going to do now is I think we'll go ahead, we'll jump into a bit of a tile ups, we'll get this area here all sorted, maybe do a bit of decoration around the staff area and we'll plan out our next habitat over in this general area over here. And uh, we'll see how that works out. Like I said, I know what animal I want in there. I don't know if we can afford to get that animal just now, but I do know what I want in there. So I'll bring you guys back once we've made a bit of progress.
Okay guys, that was a massive time lapse. I didn't actually intend on it being that long and I didn't even get everything done that I wanted to. I wanted to get a bit more work done around here, beautifying the area. Um, I ended up having to put in a solar panel here. Um, tried to disguise it a bit. Apparently it doesn't affect guests too badly. They're not supposed to be in there, but it doesn't affect the guests. Which is always good. Phew. Peacocks are making us a fortune. Let's actually find out if any of them. There's a lot more of them. <laughs> oh my god, there's loads of them now. And, uh, yeah, okay. Um, we'll leave them to it. Might have to put some of them on contraceptive, but I put some lights about the place. Hopefully, you guys liked what I did there. I went for a bit of a yellow and pink theme with the elephants, and then slight little touch of blue for the tigers. Wait a second. When did this happen? I missed this. That's not what I wanted. Uh, P foul, Titan Beetle, Goliath Beetle. Two years ago. Two years. A year ago. 40. Wow. I maybe you need to stop playing. Like, stop doing the time lapses while time is uh, running. Don't know what the deal with the lag is in this area. But we've got a, we've got a kitten. Can I come out of this view now? Wow, this, I'm getting really bad frames over here. Let's have a look at the animals in here. Yeah, so Cupcake only had one, but Cupcake's getting on a bit, which is unfortunate. So yeah, that's um, that's quite cool. That's a good way to round the episode off. We've got a kitty for our kitties. Our kitties had more kitties. But we are going to need to get um, a second Cupcake, because a Cupcake's going to be a permanent fixture in this zoo. We'll just have variations of cupcake in fact is the kitten male or female it's female well in that case it's called freckles because freckles is cupcakes actual kitten so if you're wondering what I'm on about there head over to discord there is pictures of my actual cats in there cupcake and freckles cupcake is the mother but yeah i'm gonna leave this episode here for today guys we got quite a bit done uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button if you're new to the channel you can of course subscribe and uh, you can also ring the bell icon that way you get notified of all future videos and live streams i am going to be live streaming an awful lot more and there's going to be a few schedule changes to the channel and things like that which if you guys are enjoying this series, then you are going to be very happy because I'm going to be bringing this series to the channel three times a week and changing what days it comes out. Um, that will be happening next week, but I'll keep you guys up to date with that on Discord and Twitter. Speaking of which, the link to Discord is in the description below, so you can head over there, stay up to date with all things channel related and some things that aren't because it's just a fun place to hang out. And of course you can always find me on Twitter, my Twitter name is on the screen, so head over to Twitter, drop me a follow, and that'd be very much appreciated. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next time. But before I go, you are probably wondering what's going in here. Let me know in the comments what you think I'm putting in there. And you'll see in the next episode. I have already got the animals, but I'm keeping that one a secret. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.